everybody, thanks for watching. You're looking at a stainless steel patio heater. This is 87 inches tall and it's made by Garden Sun. Today we're going to open it up and put it together and I'll do a quick review on it. You can pick these up online or at a big box store like Lowe's or Home Depot for around $150. Yeah, about $150. Uh, so let's get to it. I'll fast forward to some lovely banjo music for your viewing pleasure. Okay, not everything was on camera, I apologize for that, but it is some kick-ass banjo music. Here's the, uh, all the pieces of the unit. Looks like a uh, parabolic reflector uh, in two or three pieces there, nicely wrapped in bubble wrap. And there is the main body that will house the propane tank, and it's covered with a nice protective uh, um, vinyl wrap there so it doesn't scratch up during shipment. That's kind of nice. A couple of uh, tubes to make it tall enough from here to the top for that parabolic burner and at night and the uh, igniter, sorry for the uh, burner, the parabolic reflector and a base unit it looks like. I'm not sure what's in the mother box. Let's check that out and see. Looks like three support legs. Okay, well I'm going to read some directions and we'll get busy. Step one is pretty straightforward. You just have to take three of these little supports and put them on around the perimeter of the base. I've already got two installed, one and two. And you just use two bolts, two washers, and two nuts to fasten it in place. We'll do the last one right there. All three of these are installed, so if you flip this thing upside down, these little holes here are what you can nail stakes into the ground to give it extra stability. Uh, this kit does not include the stakes, but if you find a long nail with a hook on the end, that'll do just fine. Second so part of the first step is to attach these three supports to the base. This is going to be the, uh, the skeleton that's going to support that big cylindrical um, tank cover. The second step is to put the uh, column supports together. They're pretty easy. See the two little holes right there and then the flashing, how oh, it's different level right there. The other cylinder has two little holes right there. So you just nestle them together like this. Line up the holes and with two screws, one here and one there, you fasten them together. Okay, that's secure. I'm going to set that down. Now that we have those three supports on, we're going to put our long central structure in place. That's going to fit one way on the top, and you can only do it one way just for the design, but I'll show you anyway. See, one side's flat. There is no side. The other ones have the holes ready to go. There's going to be a little wiggle room until you get all six of these supplied bolts in place. So, uh, I'm going to just do this off camera so you're not quite so bored. Okay, now the cool part, but I had to get a good angle so you can see my dirty garage, but uh, let me back that up. You can see my fat belly too. Next step, now that you have it secured, is to take this big cover and slide it over. And it looks funny because it has that protective film on it right now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's starting to look a little bit more like a propane, propane patio heater. Um, if you want, you can peel this off now. It just comes off like that. I'm actually going to save that for my wife and kids because they love to do stuff like that. So I'm going to save that. We'll let them do it in a minute. That step is complete. Let's move on. The next step for this unit is to use these double-ended bolts and three large washers and tie these in or screw these in. So, pretty simple. This is just a spacer for the top reflector. Let the air get in there and circulate and make more heat for the rest of us. So 
simple. Done. For this next step, we actually are just going to take four bolts off the assembly head, uh, up to the burner head. So that's these four here. We're going to take them off because they're going to end up holding the whole thing up on here for those four spots. I guess they just package it that way so you don't lose it. Now that we've taken off those four bolts, it's time to assemble the unit. We're going to put the burner assembly on top of the pole. And to do that, we have to feed that gas cable in through the top. So I'm going to set this up so you can see it right there. Feed this through the top. And that fits in place there. And I'm going to purposely put the directions in line with the controls up there. Try to show that a little bit better. I'm going to purposely put the directions in line with the controls. When you put them on, you're just supposed to get them loose so you can uh, get the head on, but now that it's on and all four bolts are in place, directions say to go ahead and tighten it up. This next step involves putting together the heat shield or the heat reflector, and it does have that protective plastic to guard against scratches because it is stainless steel, not scratchless steel. Got to pull these off. If you don't, this is going to make a hell of a smell and be gross. So that's our puppy. Pull these things off, front and back, and we'll put these together. Bolt, washer, cap screw. Just loosely tighten them, not really tight. We took care of the three screws on the outside, one, two, and three. So now we're going to attach the other six at this pie pan on the inside. You do it loosely at first so you can get them all, the holes lined up before tightening them. And six more bolts go in there. The top three holes in the middle will go right up here on the top of our heater. So we're almost done. Nothing cosmic. This would be faster, but I have to go chase the dog in five minutes. And repeat. All nine bolts are in place now, so all the holes are met. So now I'll actually we're just going to tighten them all with the screwdriver. From this angle, this thing looks like a serious cannon. Uh, we are going to use three wing nuts and mount the heat reflector on top of those three spacer bolts. But we're going to put on washers right there. And now we'll put the reflector on. Obscure your vision for a second. Okay, at two, the third one should pop in. Got all three in place. Another washer. And before the thing falls apart, I'm going to put a wing nut on there. Repeat two more times. Okay, assembly is complete. I just set it on the box. In the diagram, it shows you can set it on the chairs. Stop wiggling. And now I'm going to invite my family over once I stand it up to pick away all that plastic there. Very cool, very nice. So probably about a 15 minute job to assemble. Definitely quicker if you don't have to uh, film it and talk about every step, but not a 
big problem. You could probably do it with a tool that they supp supply with it. That's just a little stamped out piece of metal tool, but I'd recommend using your own wrenches. It's just easier. And that's it. That's how you assemble this patio heater. Almost here are the sticker peelers themselves. That's why I saved it for them. Well, it's going to take a while. <laughs> yeah.